Hi there Pisces, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 2nd of May. A T-square and a trine may well sound like things that would be used in an architect's office, but actually in this context they're astrological angles. And these angles provide particular opportunities, but also some challenges. The trine this week is between the Sun, Jupiter and Pluto. Now, each of these is occurring in Earth signs. Now, with you being a watery sign, you're constantly evolving. You're mutable, as well as being water, so therefore your flexibility, sensitivity to your environment is often one of your greatest things. But what you're being asked to do this week is really think about your communications, particularly in terms of how you link up with your friends or the world at large, or about your future hopes, this is about creativity for you in terms of your thinking, and your thinking can be absolutely inspired. When Jupiter and the Sun get into this particular relationship, it can give us the sense that anything is possible. But when Pluto's in the mix too, this is the planet of transformation. Now Pluto's been in this part of your horoscope for the last seven years. But in this particular angle, it's very helpful. Of course, up until the end of April, it had been clashing um, in different ways with planets in the sign of Aries, which may have meant that your financial situation has been quite choppy or your value system constantly was challenged. But this can see you much more optimistic about what the future holds. But there are a few things to just be mindful of. Venus moved at the end of last week into your sector of everyday communication as well. This means that your personal way of speaking just can be that much more velvety and someone could be hanging on your every word in the next 27 days. But with Mercury still tracking backwards in this area, you can't be too rash or too quick to make judgments on situations because Mercury's retrograde can of course trip us up. So anything to do with technology, transport, sending things, post, could go a little awry. And you need also to be aware that when it comes to how you monitor things, that precision is very important. But I think generally, the big picture for you is opening up marvellously well. And you can feel a lot, a lot more optimistic. The challenge really comes from the fact that Neptune, your co-ruler, is in opposition with your other co-ruler of Jupiter, and they're both continued to be squared by Saturn. Saturn, of course, is the big uh, force of the zodiac. It's all about law and order, and it's in the part of your horoscope to do with how you interact with older people, authorities, or life structures which are a bit more traditional. And you may have to just be a little bit more flexible in your approach to take to be mindful of how you need to interact with people that are important to you. They may not be people that you particularly like, but you can't be totally idealistic in your approach. But with the right groups of people, the right partners, and the right ideas, this could be a time when you really do transform your situation. It's just how you explain it needs to be particularly grounded, sensible, and sincere. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.